Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the adjustment layer called Vibrance. This adjustment is quite easy to understand, but you still have to know why is it better to use Vibrance than Hue Saturation, for example. So this is Hue Saturation, where we have a saturation value. Now, if you increase that, the whole image will get really strong in colors. It's called posterization when all the colors get messed up. So that's something we want to avoid. And while I'm increasing the saturation, you can see that everything gets more intense at the same time. So the original red was already strong in this photograph. And all I want to do in this image is to just increase the background colors, mainly the green on the trees, without oversaturating the red on the lady's dress. So as you can see, saturation just increases everything together in the whole image. So that's something I would like to avoid. So I'm going to press backspace to delete this adjustment. And I'm going to go back to the adjustments panel and choose vibrance. This one is the fifth in the first row. So I'm going to select it. It's marked with a triangle. And um, once I have Vibrance Adjustment layer, I can change two values, Vibrance and Saturation. So it's fairly simple. Let's see what we can uh, do with these. If I increase Vibrance, you can see that the colors gets more intense, but without increasing the color on the lady's dress. So you can see why Vibrance is much more useful and smarter way to add saturation to your photograph in cases where you have a strong color and some less strong colors around it, which is to tell the truth is the case most of the time. So I personally always use Vibrance Adjustment Layer when I want to increase the saturation in an image. And if Vibrance on 100% is not enough, then I can always add a little bit more of saturation. But I have to be careful with that because as you can see already by just adding 28 to saturation while having the vibrance on maximum, I already have a little bit over saturated colors on the lady's dress. But the background got to the point which I wanted to with these values. So what can we do? What can we do always is to use a mask, which we already have already on the vibrance adjustment layer. I just need to select a tool. And the best tool for this is the brush tool. I use a soft edge on the brush tool and I'm going to probably set it to 50% opacity. Drawing with black as my foreground color, I just draw over the lady's dress and with that I reduce the effect of this adjustment layer on the lady's dress. So now if I shift click on the mask, you can see before and after I did this adjustment. So if I turn off the whole adjustment layer that was before and that is after. So you can see without the adjustment layer, it almost looks like the background was completely black and white. But actually colors were there. We just had to emphasize them with this adjustment layer. So it looks already much more balanced. We have colors in the background and we have color on the lady's dress, but not too much. Let me just show you again. If I shift click on the mask, that's without using the mask. And if I shift click again, that's with using the mask. So as you can see, Vibrance is very simple adjustment layer, but you still have to play around with it to be able to get the best effect. Let me just show you another thing which is useful to know about this adjustment layer. If I choose again Vibrance in this image, I can add Vibrance to the image, but I still feel like that uh, it's a little bit too bright. So in some cases, it's not enough to use Vibrance. We can also add a blend mode to it. So what if we add, for example, Multiply or Color Burn? Let's see, Multiply first, then Color Burn. Yeah, we can have a very edgy look with Color Burn, which is quite cool on this photograph. We can reduce the opacity just to make it a little bit more subtle. But let's see again, Multiply. With that, I can even go higher up and it will still look good. So now if I turn it off, that was before and that is after. So we could actually achieve two things in one, using Vibrance to intensify the colors, plus setting it to multiply blend mode, we could actually correct the exposure as well on the image. 
You can always play around with saturation as well if you want, but in this case I think we only need just a little bit more with the saturation. And last but not least, let me show you another image. And here all I want to show is just another useful thing about this adjustment. So once again I select the vibrance and instead of moving uh, the values by dragging these arrows around, try to get used to clicking on the names, vibrance and saturation, because there it's much easier, you need to do less movement with your mouse to change the values, plus if you double click on the name of uh, vibrance or saturation, you can set the value back to zero. It's the same thing in Lightroom, you can double click on the arrow. Here in Photoshop you have to double click on the name of the uh, options or values like vibrance or saturation. So if I double click, it jumps back to the default the zero value. So that's all I wanted to show you today about the vibrance adjustment layer. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to know more about adjustment layers, then join me next time as well here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.